it's Michelle and I've got another fun table setting for you guys today. We're going to be doing the Flash Superhero table setting. Now this is probably mostly going to be used for little boys birthday parties but believe it or not this one was inspired by my most recent birthday. I celebrated my 44th birthday earlier this month and I'm kind of obsessed with the Flash TV series. My daughter and I watched that on Netflix together. And just a couple of weeks before my birthday, the new season of The Flash came on Netflix. So my daughter and I celebrated my birthday by binge watching The Flash all day long. She even made me a Flash birthday cake which I sliced into reverse flash style and if you guys watch the flash you'll know what that means and she also got me a t-shirt just like Team Flash and everyone at Star Labs has it was so much fun and it gave me this idea for a party table setting so like I said probably mostly boys rather than 44 year old women will be using this but that's okay the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a lightning bolt napkin fold. And for that I'm just using one beverage size napkin in bright yellow. And I'm going to open it up all the way. And then I'm going to turn it diagonally. And I'm going to fold corner to corner. And now when you do this you want to focus more on these corners than this one here. Most of the time the napkin is not perfectly square so it won't line up just right everywhere. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that you get that point and that point. And if it's off a little bit up here, that's okay. That part is not going to show in the long run anyway. So I've got my corners just right and then I want to crease in between those. I'm even going to bring in my bone folder to make sure that I crease that good. And you can see that threw me off a little bit on my corner there. I'm going to crease it really well on these tips out here. And then press it in between. And now we're going to turn it this way and open that back up. And we really just wanted to get that line established down the center there. So from there, I'm going to use my thumbnail to kind of hold the point there so that I know I get a really sharp tip when I make that fold. And I'm just going to fold this right corner from the top till that line meets with the line of the center. Again, making sure that that tip is very sharp because that's going to be the tip of our lightning bolt in the end. So I'm going to back up and redo that a little bit and make sure that I've got that held down very, very sharp. Line that up with my center line there and crease. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. And then I'm just going to turn it around. And do the same thing. And you can see I'm kind of coming back in, making sure that tip is sharp. I want to go over it and go over it a couple of times if I have to take the extra time to make sure that I get a really sharp tip. 
So now I'm going to do the other side. And I want to crease that down. And now it's sort of uneven the way that it looks inside, but that's okay. That's going to be folded inward and you won't see it. We just want to get our shape lined out first. And I'm going to take this tip after I've turned it widthwise, what is now my top corner, I'm going to fold straight down to that center line. that and then bring the bottom one up to the center line also and crease that and then straight up that center line fold the whole thing in half And when you crease that, you want to make sure, again, that you've got those sharp points. And now we have our long shape that's going to end up being our lightning bolt. So now, all we have to do is fold it into a zigzag so we get our lightning bolt. And I'm just going to kind of hold the whole thing at about a 45 degree angle this way. Because this center zig or zag in my lightning bolt I want to go at that angle and from here I'm just going to eyeball my folds I'm going to take this top one over to the left and fold it forward over toward the right and then the bottom piece I'm going to fold it under toward the left and you can adjust that until you get the shape of lightning bolt that you want. And then when you get it where you want it, press those down and crease that. And you've got a lightning bolt. Now all we have to do to turn that into a flash table setting is add a couple of plates and a placemat. And I've got a gold dinner size paper plate and a white dessert size plate and you can use whatever color you want for these you may want the black outline around the white circle whatever you want to use if you watch the show you know that the color of the emblem kind of changes a couple of times along the way anyway but I like the gold so I'm going to be using that today and I'm going to bring in a red placemat Just center that up and then lay your lightning bolt on at an angle and that is all there is to it and you've got a flash table setting. I think this is a lot of fun. You guys leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my flash table setting I really had a lot of fun with it be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel give me a like over on my facebook page and be sure to join our facebook group crafty minds and you can share your creations and your ideas with us as well also follow me on pinterest and instagram and don't forget to visit my blog I'll put the links to everything in the description below so be sure and check those out Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.